welcome to the 2020 Veterans Loop Digital Commemoration. I'm here with my guest, writer-director uh, Kevin Bryce, documentarian behind several films, including Made in America and We Are Superman. Can you talk a little bit about your previous projects? Um, I've done three documentaries. Uh, one, they, they all cover different areas of I could say inner city struggle. One is We Are Superman that covers, is a case study look at Kansas City and why many American cities are still segregated and what it would take to transform our cities um, from divided cities to integrated cities. And it looks at different people working at that. Uh, and I cover one on mental illness called All These Flowers and then my most recent is on trauma and how the experience of war and the PTSD of war relates so similarly to growing up in an urban environment. And in addition to your documentary work, you've had a chance to be a part of the veteran salute for the last three or four years? Yeah, I think this is my fourth year. And you know, having seen the veteran salute in the past with the, the signature event and commemoration. What interests you about this iteration of, you know, you know, we call it the digital commemoration and... Well, I love to tell stories about the authentic human experience, what it is to live in this life of joy and of sorrow and struggle and perseverance. And I am drawn to those types of stories and what I'm fascinated by here is the Korean War is not always talked about as much as, say, Vietnam or World War II. And I personally had very little understanding of what it was and what happened and when it was and who went. And it's very fascinating to me to hear stories of these deeply personal events that happened in these people's lives and we're at a point where many veterans are in their late 80s, early 90s, so it's very important that we capture these stories now and right. not, not wait. You know, having had a chance to be a part of several interviews with the veterans, what do you think the, the audience can come to expect about these interviews and what stands out? This, this is real history and these are honest stories about things that you might not expect, about how someone ended up getting drafted, albeit from jail, about how someone enjoyed the local Japanese beer versus the American shipped over beer. Real human stories of being young in your late teens, early 20s, and being shipped off to some foreign country, to a foreign war. Right. There's a hope that we can broaden a sense of the Korean War experience, but also like a much more like personal touch to everything from like a care package that included right. Toll House cookies and kosher uh, deli meats to... That took months to get there. Right. I'm just as interested to hear how our community response to hearing about those little details. Yeah, I mean, George has some fascinating stories of how he was drafted, and Bill has a lot of fun stories of when he was in training. And Bernie was a lot of fun, right. very lively. Johnny was surprising in how many places he has served, right. and both in Vietnam and Korea, and everything in between, and it's just valuable to be able to Tell their story. Right. Yeah.